A dairy couple is asking for your help after they say they were targeted by vandals. The couple says there were three incidents in just one week, and in one case, their van was spray painted, and now the couple says they are struggling to pay for all the damage. Ray Brewer joins us live this morning in Derry with the details. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, Sean. The couple's son in law has set up a GoFundMe page to help with these unexpected expenses. Now, at first, the Lawtons thought this was just a prank. Now they're worried that it won't stop. For the past seven years, the Lawtons have parked their van in the same assigned spot at Fairways Apartments in Derry. Now they say they have no idea why someone would vandalize that van three times within a week. We haven't been sleeping good at night, um, worrying about what's going on out here. Last Wednesday, the Lawtons say someone put dog feces on their van. The next morning, they found it had been spray painted. You would think, well, maybe they got it out of their system. But the vandal didn't stop there. On Friday, the family got a rental car. The next morning, it was tagged with spray paint and sugar was put in the gas tank. I'm absolutely stunned. I, I can't believe, I mean, we've been here this long, and the, the, peak, the, and the neighbors are great. The Lawtons are disabled. Barry is a veteran with heart issues. We know that they're targeting us. Yeah. This isn't happening to anyone else in no. the complex. No. To see something like this continually happen to them over the course of a week is, is just asinine and very infuriating. Sunday was the Lawtons' 35th anniversary. Barry wanted to take his wife out to celebrate, but these cruel acts have ruined their plans. They say they can't afford to keep paying the deductibles. To be hit with a thousand dollar hit uh, just before Christmas, yeah. it, it's bad. Derry police are investigating, looking into the situation. They say if you have any information, please give them a call. Reporting live in Derry, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.